Hey guys, how are, you all, how are you all doing? Sorry about that stuttering at first. I'm not going to delete it because I started the video already. That's how we roll. So it's around 2.30 in the morning in Dhaka. Uh, I actually have done three reviews already for you earlier today. I think uh, somewhere in the night time. But then, you know, something's bothering me, which I will talk about it in the next video. Um, I don't want to discuss depressing stuff here, but I'm a little bit bothered. You know, I'm a little bit agitated by something. People, you know, sometimes it's obviously caused by people. It's not caused by a animal. Animals are not like that, you know. Uh, nature is not like that. Only humans are like that. But uh, I thought of like what list I should do, you know, because I've been doing some lists, you know, for some time I took a break. So people like to watch multiple fragrance, one video. Here we go. But I put a little bit of thought in this one, you know. I did not like jump over, but oh, mango, you know, no, didn't happen. Eureka, no. Uh, this is going to be a list of uh, some fragrance I got in recent times. That's the inspiration behind uh, doing this list. And I am going to put up some of my older perfumes uh, alongside. This is going to be a 10 fragrance list. I think 5, 5, yeah. 5, 5 plus 5, 10 fragrance list, which I find them extremely classy. And this is not the ultimate list, like uh, the OG list of best of the best. I'm not even dressed like formal. It's just late night. No point. But, you know, I feel like uh, doing this because maybe a recap. Okay, so you get the idea. First fragrance I'm going to go, they're not all the same. They perhaps evoke the feeling of formal, a little bit upper class, not thrown out like casually, like Azaros Chrome, kind of casual, Nautica's Voyage. In my envelope, in kind of like casual. So you get the idea. I'm not going with one millions here. Okay, you see the idea. Okay, first fragrance I'm going to show number 10 is going to be called Dunhill for men. I got this fragrance, you know, I collect fragrances of different type, different brands. Dunhill is one of my favorite brands because they're affordable. And not the main reason. Dunhill fragrances are good value for your money. Some of the fragrances are really, really good. They're long lasting. On most part, they're affordable, get nice little bottles. And on most part, you know, Dunhill fragrances do have certain appeal to them. My favorite being Dunhill uh, Icon, right? My fa most favorite perfume. Then Century. This actually would be somewhere in my top five or top six Dunhills because you look at the juice color. I call this Mr. James Bond in a bottle. This fragrance is not brand new. If I show you the packaging, you will understand. Perhaps it's discontinued, okay? Dunhill for men. Not the most modern looking packaging. You can tell it's a retro. So that's where this fits in, okay? I don't remember all the notes of all this perfume. Just gonna tell you in short. This smells extremely classy, okay? This has perhaps a tobacco or something. I forgot about it. There's like citrus lemon opening and it goes a little bit spicy perhaps and it becomes not fougier, perhaps a dry tobacco or something like that or leather. Uh, one of these, but very gentlemanly smell. You can definitely rock this if you're a 35, 40 year old man. You're hanging by the bar, smoking a cigar. You have a, like a nice little suit. Uh, just came from work just to relax your mind. And you don't have company, but you just have your great cigar and a nice fine glass of whiskey. And definitely you can rock this. Okay, just smell it, you know. Uh, check out my review on each. Luckily, I've done individual reviews, so I don't have to remember all of them. But my first pick is Dunhill for men. <clears throat> number nine i'm gonna go with the fragrance which can be had for very affordable price tag just like the dunhill you know some of these fragrances are a little bit expensive but some of them most of them are i would say <clears throat> within good budget you can get this under hundred dollars easily number nine i'm gonna go with uh, seruti 1881 this has a lot of flankers i had this fragrance when i started collecting okay an interesting fact is without reviewing this beautiful perfume Beautiful, look at that bottle. I just love that bottle. The cap is a bit cheap feeling because it's light plastic, but apart from that, stunning perfume, stunning, stunning fragrance, okay? Just absolutely love it, you know? Thing is, perhaps I did not understand this fragrance when I started my journey. It takes time to understand this mature fragrance. So, Seruti is a fragrance. It's kind of like herbal, fresh, green, nature-like, okay? Um, when you smell it, uh, it has the fougier, like uh, lavender, okay? And many people, they say it's a barber shop. Kind of like if you like uh, fragrances like Pakuraban Purom, Azara Purom, you'll enjoy this. But this one has its own appeal, you know. I'm pretty sure there's a niche-like version of it. But if you have 1881 Saruti, uh, this one, I think it's, uh, uh, for me, it's one of the classic gentlemanly smell. And it has decent longevity as well, lasts a long time. So good prices. You can get this, okay. So 1881 Saruti, number nine. Uh, number eight is a fragrance which is funny. Uh, the fragrance is not funny. The fact that funny is... Fact that is funny that is in Facebook, if you post certain words, they find it offensive and then they give you warning and they take it down. And of course, I understand opium is a drug. I understand. But imagine a house like YSL made a fragrance like opium purum and you write the name or black opium. They're like, 
Facebook finds it offensive and it goes against their standard. I'm not trying to mock them, but it's, I find it funny. So I will always write the name even YouTube, <laughs> like uh, the fragrance name as it is like, but I would put a star somewhere, a hashtag. This one right here is discontinued. And this is one fragrance, like YSL has many, has many fragrances, Jazz, Live Jazz, Kuros. They have their YSL Y, Lanvid Alum. They have multiple lines, okay? So YSL fragrances are really like, uh, like Gelan, you know, has a lot of fragrances. YSL, a lot of fragrances. Back in the time, YSL Puro, I reviewed that lucky for me. This one right here is not, uh, it's the EDT version. There's EDP version or something like a dark bottle, blue bottle. Uh, this one, I always found it like 2016 or 17 when I was searching for perfumes. I would say this fragrance, I would find it like, hmm, opening is nice. Got this something like a blueberry or black currant. Then the star anise or there are some notes, I forget. But this one, it's such a complex fragrance. It feels like, you know, uh, Vico, Vico, what it called? Vapor rub, you know, like when you have headache, you put some, uh, the tiger balm and stuff. It gives that feeling. But longer it stays on your skin, it starts showing its spicy side. Uh, and then it has kind of like a masculine gentlemanly feel, which is similar to my number one, but I like the number one a lot more than this, but it's a mood lifter. Once in a while I wear this and such a great fragrance before it disappears, totally get hold of this. This is called YSL Opium Purum, master class of a fragrance. Okay. That one will go for somewhere like 65 bucks. Okay. That's number eight. Number seven. Okay. Number seven is a fragrance I bought in recent times. And after a long, long time, I was thinking, should I get it? Should I get it? You know, I had this uh, current, uh, like ongoing debate. Finally, I got it. This is called Boucheron Purum. And I got the EDP version. I got greedy. I actually did review EDT from a small miniature. Check out the review on YouTube. But the EDP is actually the OG. It's like just like ja Jaipur, you know, like Jaipur, Boucheron. They have EDT and EDP. I reviewed those and I also did summer version, right? Love to mention those because finish the work. Thank God, you know. So this one, it's a spicy fragrance. You know, it got this citrus, lemon. It's similar to one of the fragrances upcoming, but take a look at the bottle. You know, these are called heritage of fragrance. If I had actually Gillan heritage or heritage, I would so show that. But, you know, of course, I don't have everything here. But this one is another James Bond fragrance. Definitely Casino Royale or somewhere. James Bond is wearing this. So beautiful. So nice. So creamy. I mean, the if you spray this, man, the opening is like the blast of citrus lemon. It's so good. It's like Sicilian, uh, you know, like movie you know italian movie like a mob boss or something like a godfather you can relate easily to it and extremely long lasting okay this one i would wear in milder cold weathers because of the spices there's very spicy lemony kind of a fragrance we again got the fougier just like the 1881 but this is a masterclass this is a masterpiece of a fragrance boucheron purom edp <clears throat> that's number seven number six here we go cartier once again uh, once again uh, did i put any cartier no i was just reviewing on cartier right this is Cartier, Pasha de Cartier, Parfum, okay? Thankfully, uh, take a look at them. You find some similarity between these. This also is blue. This is also blue, but two classy houses, you know? Cartier and Bouchon both make jewelry. That one is inspired by a ring. They also have a ring like this. And I think uh, Cartier makes watches and rings. So I, I'm pretty sure they have perhaps a watch that has a dial like it, okay? So Pasha de Parfum, I mean Pasha de Cartier Parfum. This is the modern day boozy uh, uh, barbershop perfume. Uh, I could show you Tom Ford Bourdieu, which I also have, but I prefer this over that one. That one they use so many more lavender, so much more polished. I have it. Sorry, I will just show you. My room is messy. I'm sorry about that. This bottle is al almost finished, but I enjoy this uh, thoroughly. But the fact that I picked the Pasha one over Tom Ford because it, la I mean, costs cost-wise, you know, not the main factor, but you can get three bottles of it for a price of one Bourdieu. Bourdieu is great, great fragrance, masterpiece, amazing fragrance. I mean, oh, gotta say it's a 10. Both of them are amazing. But when you smell, okay, I'll write down them like a tie. But when I smell the Cartier, it's just so much more. It got this sweetness. It's like, it's like a modern entry with a twist, you know, like the barbershop nature it will go to. And it holds its sweetness, you know, and it's so wearable and enjoyable. Even the kids who do not like to wear this type of fragrances, they will be very interested. So Pasha. The Cartier Parfum, I have to get the name right, definitely is a classy gentleman fragrance. Okay, so we have top five and, uh, you know, everything, you cannot put everything number top spot, right? So you have to make it just for fun, like uh, sort of like a rotation or uh, gradually you have to go from 10 to 1. You get it. 
Number five, I'm going to show you a fragrance I really love. I got this and not many people have it, do not know about it. This basically people's is a niche version of Pakuraban Purum. I sometimes agree, sometimes I would say both are great because I love Pakuraban Purum. It is, it is on its own, it's a beauty, but this one is next level. Okay, Duke de Verwans, I think this is called the extreme version. And this is from the house of, I may always forget the house, Hubigan, yeah. So this is a long name, you know, but the bottle is so classy. This one could be another ring, you know, like they can put like golden and green kind of a ring that will also look very classy. This is a barbershop perfume. Many of them are barbershop, but not necessarily everything has to be. But this fragrance, man, uh, if you spray this, this is actually for not uh, everyday plastic cheap cap. Just don't mind it. But the juice inside, it's different level. This is kind of fragrance. It's a niche perfume. Definitely it's expensive, like $100 or so. But... Uh, when you actually wear this, think of like a ballroom, there's going to be dancing. People are wearing kind of like tuxedos and the ladies are wearing gowns, really nice food. Like there's going to be a lot of caviar, champagne, that sort of affair. This fragrance, like people are driving their vintage cars to like show up in front of like an old, uh, I don't know, castle or like building where everything's like huge. The columns are huge, doors are huge. Okay, this fragrance fits there. Okay, uh, if you want, let's say a person, Hugh Jackman, when he's like, portraying some sort of like a vampire killer or something what was the movie called man uh, <laughs> I, I forget names nowadays but you know guys like him like kind of masculine uh, kind of green okay but very smooth this fragrance is done so smooth like uh, let me spray a little bit where can i spray it uh, let's spray somewhere here okay the sprayer is kind of not good <laughs> so but i got this you know because who be gone i did uh, review other fragrance i think Fougier, something royal, I forgot the name. Classy fragrance. Man, if you're a fan of green fragrances, get this one. So high class, so long lasting, so alluring. People in India understand this fragrance. I saw them. Uh, this fragrance need more talk. Duc de Vervance, DV, a la extreme from House of Hobigon. That's number five. But I have some designer side of this niche, which are affordable, more affordable, but I prefer them over this one. Number four is this continued gem. Armani O Purom. This is the Armani's version of, I'll show you very simply speaking. I'm taking a little bit of time, sorry about that, but I'm not sorry actually. Dior Eau Sauvage, they are all siblings, cousins. Oh, cousin, my cousin, you know, my cousin, you know. These are Italian uh, beauty, Italian style fragrances. Look at the bottle, it's not the most modern looking bottle that you ever see. The lemon play in this. <sighs> the opening of it just, poof. Where am I? I'm gonna run in, I'm running out of space. Okay, let's spray some here. Uh, just remember, you know, just remind myself of this beauty. This is one of the most stunning citrus based perfumes. Like if you actually enjoy citruses, I have one more. The next one I like a little bit more for the citrus, but it changes. It changes to a little bit again masculine like previous ones. But such a stunner of a fragrance. If you want to enjoy on summer day something classy, this is a fragrance. Armani Opurum. Check it out. Check out my review. So glad I have that bottle. They have some of, some of the flankers which are also great. But this is the OG right here. Number three, this continued gem finally managed to get a bottle. And this is the fragrance I reviewed a few days back. Balmain Monsieur. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering up the name. But Monsieur, Monsieur, you know, people say, but I like Monsieur, you know. This is a tester unit. Look at the juice color. This one actually can be had as a replacement of two fragrances. Uh, it used to be like $67, $75, but now $100 plus. This one, if you like fragrance like Edition Blanche by Chanel, DDP, the creamy, creamsicle, uh, lemon cream pie. Also, you like uh, Neroli Sauvage by Creed. This is a Neroli heaven. Lemon, Neroli, it changes up a little bit, but so beautifully done. Such a well-crafted fragrance. Nowhere is mentioned. Like I saw Augie reviewing it, your two cents. But this fragrance is like, fragrance like this should get like mentioned so much more in community. But everybody's after Dior Sauvage, man. <laughs> okay, Johnny Depp, respect. But Balmain, Monsieur, amazing fragrance. Definitely get, get, if you get it somewhere, give it a try. You may fall in love with this beautiful, one of the best citrus based perfumes I ever had. Okay, uh, Monsieur by Balmain. Number two and number one. This ne next one is one of the best barbershop fragrances ever. So this actually turning on to a little bit barbershoppy, but not really. Because the next one is not definitely barbershop, but this perfume I got during last Eid. And I, it, it was in my uh, list for a very long time over its more expensive counterparts. They have 
Ben Halligan's lot of expensive exclusive collection, but this one right here, Sartorial. Okay, I got this alongside fragrance like Burning Barber Shop. Look at the juice colors, you can tell they are a bit different. So, but Burning Barber Shop, I'm keeping it away today because it's too smoky and too dhup like. Dhup means like incense, right? So, not everybody would like that, but this one I can tell you got the honey, got the tailor sort of a you know, modern day man in tailor shop, and it has. Check out my review again. Uh, beautiful, uh, spicy uh, barber shop and uh, lavender. Beautiful place. This is one of the best fragrances ever made. Trust me. Okay. Sartoria by Pen Halligans. Amazing fragrance. Get it before it's totally gone because it's disappearing. I heard very quickly. My number one today <clears throat> for this list. Um, this fragrance, no matter how many times you praise it, and there are hardly any fragrance that beat Durham Intense in terms of how much I enjoy that type of fragrance. And if you do enjoy something like uh, cacao, patchouli i think and uh, there are many other notes in this i forgot but this is one of the stunning masterpieces um, always get mentioned in the community um, you cannot find this formulation anymore even the one after this but this is called leech lance and Degalan, extreme you can get the modern formulation like the edd version but they are just shadow of this uh, masterpiece right here i still have enough juice for me okay uh, just at first, some people would say Durham Intense, there's no contest. This one doesn't have anything on that. The opening Durham Intense really like flamboyant, you know, it really uh, takes you away. It will move you, it will uh, like blow you away. But on the dry down, if any fragrance gets sexier over time, this is the fragrance. This is the one actually, if you have this formulation, can beat Durham Intense in uh, real battle. Okay, both of them have chocolatey cacao. This is masterpiece, but on a formal occasion, if something special comes up, they're both great. Durham Intense sexy, sexy little thing. But if I prefer something over Durham Intense in terms of complexity and beauty, this would be it, okay? Gelan, Lance de Gelan, Liege. So that's the list for today. And I'll go upload these, but I'll write down the names as well for you. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this video, some of you. And tomorrow I'll do your favorite list, like summer, sexy, sweet. You know, I have some things on mine. So hopefully I'll upload them. Take care, thanks for watching. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.